Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at saving brushes in Photoshop. Before we start in Photoshop, I just want to introduce you to my classes over at Skillshare, where I'm teaching a series called Photoshop for Lunch. If you're interested in having a look at those classes at Skillshare, I have a link below in the description that includes a coupon for Skillshare. It is at least as good as what Skillshare is offering and oftentimes my deal is even better. Of course, if you decide to sign up for Skillshare, then you'll also have access to all the other teachers' classes there. So there are thousands upon thousands of classes. So let's go now to Photoshop and I have a whole series of brushes that I have created in Photoshop. These are brushes that I use for varying effects, but I want to make sure that I have these brushes in case I need to reset my Photoshop preferences because resetting Photoshop preferences will lose you any of your custom brushes that have not been previously saved. To save your brushes, you can choose Edit and then Presets and Preset Manager. This opens up a dialog called the Preset Manager dialog and there are options here or panels here for a whole lot of different things including custom shapes and patterns and styles and gradients. So if you want to save those you would go to those distinct areas in this dialog. But we want to look at brushes and the brushes that I have down here are the brushes that I have created that I want to be able to save. So I'm going to select the first of these brushes and shift click on the last so I've selected all of them. Of course, if I wanted to omit a brush, I would hold the control key on a PC command on a Mac and just click on that brush to remove it from the selected group. So I've got a small selected group now. So I'm going to choose Save Set. And this takes me to the location in Photoshop where my brushes are stored. And I can just name these brushes. So I'm going to call them Helen's and I'm going to date them September 2018 and just click Save. Now those brushes are saved. So if I was to remove them from my brush presets panel, I'll just click here on delete to remove them. Now they are removed and so they won't be accessible through the brushes panel because they've been deleted. Well, we can get them back at any time by clicking the fly out menu and going and opening the brushes from the list here. The problem is that because I haven't closed and reopened Photoshop, that new set is not in the list here, but it will be next time I close and reopen Photoshop. But I could get hold of those brushes from the Preset Manager. Edit, Presets, Preset Manager, and I'll go to Load, and that takes me back to the location where I have stored my brushes. And here is the Helen September 2018 ABR brush set. So I'll just click Load to load them back into Photoshop. Of course, any of these brush sets that you've created with your own brushes, if you want to be able to sell them or give them away, you'll just select them here and copy them to another location where you can access them more easily. Because this is Photoshop's location, but it doesn't make it easy for perhaps zipping them up and sharing them with somebody else. But let me just go ahead and load these brushes. And here they are in a little collection all of their own, Helen September 2018. Now, if I want them back alongside these brushes, not in a little collection folder, I'll just select them, click on the first, shift click on the last, and just drag them up into this location. Then I'll go ahead and just delete this brush group because I don't need it any longer. I've done nothing to the brushes that were in the file that I just saved. I've just put my brushes panel back the way I want it to look. So whenever you go to the trouble of creating your own brushes in Photoshop, think about saving those brushes into a brushes file that you would be able to access and load later on. If necessary, you can also share those brushes with other people. And of course, you are going to lose any custom brushes that you haven't previously saved. If you delete Photoshop's preferences file, if you're forced to reinstall Photoshop, they'll all be gone. So it does make good sense to save your brushes. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things about Photoshop of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.